according to my sources, we could actually see Kawhi Leonard back on the court when the Spurs play the New Orleans Pelicans next Thursday. Again, that's what my sources are telling me. That could be the first time that we see Kawhi Leonard back on the basketball court for the first time since January 13th. That was the excellent Lisa Salters reporting Kawhi targeting Thursday against the Pelicans for his return from injury. The man has only played nine games this season, Chance, and you're wow. talking about playing yourself back into form. Is he good enough that even cold, coming in cold, he can be the solution to San Antonio's problems here? Well, he's better than what they have, so it would be a welcome addition to have him back. Now, will he be playing at the level that he left off in that game one and, and, <laughs> and goes? Probably not, right? But this is... For one, this is my favorite player in the league, okay? It really is. I, I love the way he plays. I love his grit. I love his grind. But I just don't know um, how much, you know, differently he'll be this season because they need a lot with, with, with what they have to do to even make the playoffs at right. this point. But it's not like he hasn't been playing basketball. He hasn't been playing in NBA games, of course. But, you know, he's been spotted at the MBPA in the gym in New York City and mm -hmm. I would think, with everything that's at stake with his career moving forward, he wouldn't be coming back unless he believed he could impact the game sure. on both ways. And he is one of the top, what, five two-way players in the league right now. Uh, I, I think with him and plus the continuity of him knowing what the Spurs are trying to accomplish, it's not like Gordon Hayward with the new group. They should be enough to get them. Did you say the, top the five two-way players? Oh, did I underrate him there? Is he top two? He's number one? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story for another day. I like the heads, well, you know, I got to go these guys. I don't want to right, so I don't want to offend Julius Randle. Who's <laughs> Rick? Who's clearly the best one-on-one right. -on -one defender Come in the on. league, according to Luke Walton. Um, yeah. Who's your top three two-way players? I would say Kawhi Leonard went, went healthy, Okay. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Paul George mm -hmm. and probably Anthony Davis. KD leads the league in blocks. I said Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Why? And LeBron's not in that group okay. anymore. Yeah. No, I don't. LeBron is, is getting to a point where he can, in moments, right. he can be defend. that kind of defender. Mm -hmm. He got to do too much on the offensive end right now. Yeah, I agree with that. You right. know, he got to take other matchups that the guy's not doing. He, just has, he has to do too much. It's 15th year. Right. So he's going to be on the other end of that one, but. That, that, that would be my top three right now. Well, despite Kawhi being your number one two-way player, <laughs> I do think what matters to the Spurs less this year, I mean, look, every year you want to win a championship. Every year you've got Greg Popovich as your coach. You've got a shot to win a championship. But I think they know this doesn't feel like a championship season with the way the Rockets and the Warriors are going in the West. To me, what's most important about this next month and Kawhi playing is just getting him reintegrated into the team, yeah. having him feel like a part of the team because they both have to make a decision, both yep. management and Kawhi this summer, about whether they're going to extend that deal and, and supermax him. And if they don't, if he doesn't sign new paper with them, they're probably going to look to trade him. So you want to make sure that he gets back into the fold and he wants to make sure of that. So Absolutely. I think that to me is what we're going to watch. According to my sources, we could actually see Kawhi Leonard back on the court when the Spurs play the New Orleans Pelicans next Thursday. Again, that's what my 